today we're gonna do another tag video. So this tag was created by Leora over on Leora Sophie. She's another writer. Pretty good stuff. You should check her out. I don't know what this accent is today, but we're gonna roll with it. So she's created this uh, pretty cool tag called the Hometown Tag, and it's a little project she's working on where different authors from around the world tell us about their hometowns, and then we'll have a nice bank of different descriptions for settings if people are looking for a, a new and interesting setting for their book, eh? I'm gonna stop this accent now. Anyway, yes, this is the Hometown Tag. Now, I've lived in a few different places, but, and I might do this tag again to further describe uh, other places I've lived, like in Japan, but today we're gonna talk about the place that I grew up in, which is Westminster, Colorado. Without further ado, because there are a lot of questions in this one, there we go, getting back in that accent again. We're gonna start with the hometown tag right now, let's go! Question number one, where is it? Why is it? How did it come to this? I'm from Westminster, Colorado, but here's the thing. I consider this group of towns all around me, Westminster, Arvada, Thornton, Broomfield, to really be my hometown. They're all kind of this distant suburb of the Denver area. It's this weird amalgamation because there's no real defining lines between them. There's not a whole lot of difference between these towns, so we're going to talk about this area here. So some areas that I might tell you about might be in Thornton or Broomfield or something. In general, that's the area we're talking about. Why is it this way? Well, probably white people. How did it come to this? Probably white people. Question number two. What challenges might a person encounter while taking a walk around your neighborhood? Well, we're in Colorado. We're in the foothills. So probably wildlife is your biggest concern. In my neighborhood, we have a lot of coyotes. That's a big one. I've come across coyotes while walking my dogs. I've had to defend my dogs from coyotes before. We also have these terrible birds called grackles, which will swoop down and peck at your head. So I remember growing up as a kid, we'd have to take tennis rackets to school because the grackles would swoop at us and you'd have to hold it above your head to prevent them from hitting you. It wasn't like we were out there swinging them at them, just protecting our own head. Sometimes you'd wear a bucket. Yeah. Also mountain lions. Right now there's been an influx of mountain lion sightings around our towns here. Maybe a little bit closer to like Longmont and Boulder, but definitely uh, Colorado Springs for sure, but that's way further south than me. But a lot of foothills and near mountain towns uh, have a new problem with the mountain lions coming down. So that's a big one. Question number three, what is the architecture like? I couldn't tell you. There are some like little historic districts, especially Arvada has its own historic district. Westminster really doesn't. We basically have the poor houses, which are like houses that were built in the 70s and they're very bland. And then across the street, you'll have the rich people houses, which are all like these three, four story, big, massive houses that were built probably in the late 90s, early 2000s. So they're very basic structure, but there's no real like architectural style. If you go to downtown Denver, you'll see a lot more red brick. That's more common. In Westminster, Thornton, Broomfield, and Arvada, it's not a whole lot. It's just like basic suburbia that's not well groomed. A lot of people let their lawns go into weeds and stuff, so not very visually appealing. Question four, what do young people do to piss off older generations? Mostly just be loud. I think uh, if they're in large groups, the kids will be pretty loud, chattery, loud laughter and stuff that'll annoy older people and myself. Vaping, vaping is a big thing and I really hate vaping, but just loud, loud music, loud, especially in like their cars, they'll drive down basic neighborhoods and their music is just blasting and it's like, please stop. Please, please. Actually, since I moved here, there's been a lot of people just having like wireless speakers and while they're out walking and jogging. And it's like, get headphones. Question five, how diverse is the populace? Not too much. Basically, especially Colorado in general, has a lot of white people and a lot of Hispanic. There's a, a larger Mexican population. I say Hispanic because, I mean, there's a lot of different people from like Latin America and Mexico. There's a lot of Spanish speaking districts around in, especially the area here. There are a few Asian areas, but not a whole lot. There's a few like Asian markets and stuff, but they're not a, a bigger point of population. It's way more on the Hispanic and white side of things. 
Question number six, how's the infrastructure? What is the worst or the best place to drive? There's a lot of worst places to drive here. I-25 is the worst. It's how you get into Denver and how you get all the way down to the springs and stuff. It's always under construction. There's always a lot of traffic. There are lots of accidents. There are lots of cops on it. And they spent a lot of money making the designs on the highway that everyone, or like the sound barriers, they made all these intricate designs that everyone was really, really mad about because it was like a waste of money. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, and it's not even that pretty. It's just kind of bland art that's on I-25 that they spent a lot of time working on. I-25 sucks and I hate driving it. I hate it so much. Our three main parallel roads, which are Wadsworth, Sheridan, Federal. And Wadsworth is like the busiest road in all of Colorado. It clogs up crazy. Like, <sighs> oh my God. During rush hour, it's a nightmare. But Wadsworth is the closest road to like where I live. Like you always have to go on Wadsworth to get to the roads that you would turn off to get to my own house, uh, both my parents' house and here. It's a very long road. You can actually take Wadsworth all the way down to Denver and turn on Colfax and you'll be in downtown Denver. That's the long way if you wanna avoid the highway. Also, always under construction and lots of cops. Sheridan is kind of like the nicer side to a certain point. North Sheridan is where the nicer side of things are, and then sub South Sheridan is kind of like the poor side of Denver, and it's really kind of sad. You can really see the defining zones between like, this is white people's side and this is not white people's side. It's, it's bad. And then Federal is another way you can go straight into Denver. It's another major one, and that also, it's kind of a mimic of Sheridan, but in a, its own way. Otherwise, the bus system kind of sucks. The buses basically go on those three roads and that's about it. I don't ever go on the buses unless I'm going to downtown Denver because I don't like driving in downtown Denver. But I also hate the buses. We just got a light rail. It's nowhere near me though, so I haven't ever ridden on it. Question seven, emergency town meeting. What stupid thing is it about? They're changing the name of the football stadium yet again. So in my lifetime, this football stadium has been, it's always Mile High. It's Mile High Stadium. That's what it really is. But it's also been called Invesco Field. It's been called Sports Authority Field. They're changing the name again, I think, and using a lot of tax dollars to do it. And that's what people complain about a lot here. Yeah, that. I don't care about sports at all, but boy do I know about all the name changes that happen at Mile High Stadium. <laughs> Question number eight, what do locals eat? Do they do takeout, street food, fine dining? What do they cook at home? Okay, so this is where I differ a lot because my family is actually from Minnesota. So our diet is very different from your local Coloradans. But from the experiences of like my friends, everybody loves Mexican food here. I'm not a huge fan of Mexican food. Fuzzy's Tacos is really, really popular. There's a couple different areas where Fuzzy's is. Um, Torchy's as well is pretty popular. And of course, like Chipotle, if you're going fast food, people love Chipotle and Taco Bell here. Yeah, everybody really loves Mexican food a whole lot. Fine dining wise, not really, not really a whole lot. But for what people make at home, Coloradans love green chili. Green chili everything. They'll put green chili on literally literally anything at all. They love green chili. I'm not a huge fan of green chili. I don't think it tastes that great. It's okay, but there, there's an obsession with putting green chili on everything here. Question nine, smells. What one plant is everywhere? What's in the air that might be awkward to explain to a child? Tumbleweeds. We got a lot of tumbleweeds. We're very stereotypical Colorado Wild West. Cottonwood is another thing. So there's a few seasons where the cotton will be literally floating all around the air from the cottonwood trees. My neighbors two doors down have a giant one. So that's, I have a lot of memories of the cottonwood just floating around in the air. Lilac bushes, if you want a nicer smell, a lot of people have lilac bushes. My parents' house has one. All my neighbors over there have lilac bushes. Lilac is my favorite scent of all flowers. It's my favorite flower, my favorite scent. The awkward one is probably the nasty cow dung smell. We get it. Whenever there's a cold front coming in, this is, this is true science, because there's a place called Greeley, Colorado, and that's where all of the cow slaughterhouses and stuff are. But when a cold front's coming in, the wind will blow from Greeley and it will smell rancid here. It's bad. Question 10, sounds. What does it sound like in the morning, in the evening? What music would you say is your town? I mean, it's fairly quiet, but we have some trains 
the cargo trains and stuff that you'll hear in the distance quite a bit. Cops and ambulance, that's pretty frequent. Planes. Planes are a big one. So my house in Westminster is right next to a private airport, Jeffco Airport, and there's always a plane or an air show there um, that actually a long time ago ended in tragedy when there was a guy doing a big loop-de-loop -loop thing and he ended up crashing when I was a kid. I was up at the rec center swimming there because it was like July 4th or Memorial Day weekend or something like that when it happened. I remember seeing the explosion and everything. Um, and so they shut down the air show for a few years and now the air show is back. It actually just happened. Also fireworks. People do not care that fireworks are actually like illegal here because we're a pretty high fire risk. We're very dry. Don't get a lot of precipitation, FYI. But fireworks happen all the time. And sometimes you have to question, was that a firework or a gunshot? You're not quite sure. Either way, they both scare the crap out of my dogs and I don't appreciate it. I don't know if there's a real music of Colorado. It's just bad noises. Maybe it's country music. Ugh, people love country music here. I hate country music so much. <laughs> Question 11. What language or dialects do you have? Is there any local slang? Obviously we have a lot of Spanish speaking communities so that's that's one of the biggest ones that you'll see here. There is a Japanese community in Denver somewhere so you can go down on like the 16th Street Mall and you'll see signs and they'll have them in English, Spanish, um, Japanese, Chinese, and Arabic. And that's kind of cool that they're, they're fairly diverse downtown, but in my area, it's mostly English or Spanish. That's what you get. Local slang? I don't know off the top of my head. Promenade? Go into the promenade. I guess the promenade might be slang because there's an area we call the promenade and it's got like the movie theater and some restaurants and stuff. It's always changing. There's the ice skating rink over there. So people are like, you want to go hang at the promenade or hang at Flatirons? So Flatirons is a mall, but we have, it's named for the Flatirons in the Rocky Mountains that you can see. Yeah, that's probably it. I don't think we have any others that I know of. I'm just not a person who talks to other people. So I don't know. Question 12, environmental awareness. Do they recycle? Is there lots of graffiti? It's 50-50. Some communities are way more conscientious of it. Um, others are not. There is a lot of graffiti in a lot of different places, lots of buildings, especially if you go to like fast food areas, there's always like that generator thing outside, like that green metal box. There's always graffiti or like a lot of stickers covering them. Overall, it's 50-50. It's really. My sister and I are actually both kind of upset by the condo that we live in. There isn't recycling here and we're both used to recycling, but there isn't in this condo and it's like, come on. Question number 13, prank the tourists. So the number one prank that probably, if you've heard of Colorado, you probably already know what it is, but it is Rocky Mountain oysters. And people will be like, oh yeah, we eat these all the time. Have some Rocky Mountain oysters. And it's, ah, you know what? I'm gonna let you look it up. It's great, it's a delicacy. Question 14, is it safe? Eh, kind of sometimes and not at the same time. We've had some pretty famous school shootings and some pretty famous murders. Well, Boulder is Jean Benet Ramsey. Uh, my area here is Columbine and we've had a few others and stuff. And yeah, there's been some, there's been some pretty serious crimes in the area here. Growing up, my neighbors, pretty much all the neighbors surrounding our houses had some kind of drug activity going on, a couple meth labs, so. But overall, like, I could walk around at night in my neighborhood and feel safe. Weird, but yes and no at the same time, depending on what crowd you hung out with. Question 15, what are some unknown but beloved locations in your hometown? We're gonna stretch this a little bit. Some of these might be more well-known than others, but Obviously, I told you guys about the promenade and flat iron. We also have the butterfly pavilion, which is right across the street from the promenade. But butterfly pavilion is very famous tourist trap kind of thing here. Um, they have a big butterfly pavilion. They have some other um, bugs and stuff. They have Rosie the tarantula there and you can hold Rosie, but some children have killed Rosie because they freaked out while holding Rosie. It's okay. They have a bunch more Rosies in the back, but it's really sad and kind of a stretch because this is borderline, it's borderline getting closer to Denver, but we have Lakeside and Lakeside is a local amusement park just off of like Sheridan and gosh, what? 52nd? 
I want to say. I just know it's deep, 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 deep Sheridan into scary Townsville. It looks like it's haunted, like in the legitimate sense. It looks like it's always run down and like closed, but it's apparently still operating. It's very cheap to get in. I've actually used it as a setting for one of my works in progress a while ago, and it's just kind of this rundown amusement park that's, it's a staple, okay? Another one is Casa Bonita. If you've watched South Park, you know about Casa Bonita. It is now a national landmark, and it's, it's terrible. It's so bad. I don't know why Casa Bonita is so famous. I mean, I guess the cliff divers make it famous, but it definitely shouldn't be famous for the food. Those are some of them, I suppose. Question 16, what is the nemesis town? I don't know if we have a nemesis town. This is where it borders because like in my high school, like my high school and another high school were pretty serious rivals. For rival towns, probably Boulder is the rival town because Boulder is kind of its own country in Colorado. Like everyone, you say like the people in Boulder and you know exactly what they mean because Boulderites are, they're very health conscious, environmentally aware, very liberal, but also they're very rich white people and then you have a lot of homeless. So it's kind of hypocritical as well. The type of people, I mean, there are freaking breathitarians there. Do you know what a breathitarian is? I do because I work in a grocery store there where the breathitarians shop, though I don't know what they're buying because apparently they get all their nutrients from the air. What? Where you'll find like a large vegan population. Everywhere you go pretty much accepts dogs. Like dogs are way more beloved than anything in Boulder. I don't blame them for that. I'm the same kind of way. But Boulder is a very, very unique place. And that's probably the nemesis of every town in Colorado. Question 17. Oh my God, that's your hometown? Any experiences like that? Again, Casa Bonita, John Benet Ramsey, Columbine. Those are the more famous ones. Also Waterworld, which is an actual water park here. Waterworld is pretty famous, I think. I remember watching a show a long time ago of like the top 10 water parks in America and it was like number seven. Waterworld is something we used to go to all the time as kids. I, I still love Waterworld. They've got the great rides, like Journey to the Center of the Earth, which is the dinosaur ride. That's what we always call it, is dinosaur ride. And they have the big wave pools and stuff that are really great. Thunder Bay. That's, that's a good one. But it's pretty much the destination for summertime shenanigans in Colorado, but not this year. Question 18, what are some bad representations of your town? Like I said before, Deeper, Sheridan, and Federal are kind of the, the sketchier, more crime-ridden neighborhood. Colfax as well, the street of Colfax, it's more Denver than anything, but, and that's like Lakewood, more Lakewood and are in Denver, but Colfax is pretty famous for like a lot of prostitution and crime is there as well. So those are probably where most people would say is the bad representation, but I don't know. I'm just the silly white girl who lives in suburbia. Question 19, what are some good resources for authors to research your town? Probably the internet. <laughs> you can always ask me anything about their town. It's not a very big place. It's not very famous. It's just kind of a little, little tiny town with not much going on, but it's got some charm to it, I think. Question 20, do you have any tips for offering how to describe your hometown? Basically, there's not a lot of trees here. I mean, I've got a few outside my window here, but there are a lot of open plains and they're all, it's so dry. It's just unbearably dry. I constantly get bloody noses here just because it is so dry. We don't get a lot of rain. We don't get a lot of storms or precipitation, but we do get a lot of snow most of the time. Last winter, not so much, but we've had some pretty big blizzards this current year, like especially March. March is the devil for us. March is awful. We have so much snow in March. It can get very windy. We have the, we have some pretty high pressure winds that will actually shatter your car windows. We have a lot of hail. Hail is the thing. So when it does storm here, hail is a big problem. There was a hailstorm like a year ago. People are still getting repairs for that. My car is still covered in hail damage, but and it's actually totaled, but I'm still driving it because of all the hail damage that we had. There's been hail that's shut down entire malls. The Colorado Mills Mall, which is further south near Golden and stuff, 
That mall had to shut down because of so much hail damage for a long time. It was closed for like six months. It was pretty bad. That's a big one, but otherwise it's dry, it's hot, but it's not humid at all. We have a lot of bushfires. We have a lot of mountain fires that happen. Just if you're writing a book about us and it's summertime, it's hot and it, we're on fire. Also, we're all pretty scared that Yellowstone is going to blow up at any moment and kill us all. Great. In question 21, tag three people in this. I forgot, Leora, who you tagged. I think you tagged very bad books, so hold on. I'm going to tag... There you go. That was the hometown tag. Thanks for tagging me, Leora. This was super fun, and hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, check out my Ko-fi link and support me as a content creator. And if you have any further questions or comments, leave them down below or on Facebook, Tumblr, and Twitter. I'll see you next time, cuties. Bye!